हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आर चैनल ऑनलाइन स्टडी फॉर यू वन स्टेप सॉल्यूशन फॉर ऑल योर पीस में नीड सो आई होप दैट यू आर डूइंग शिमली वेल वेल टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डू द डिस्कशन ऑफ प्रिपरेशन फॉर इंफीटिव्यू सर्टिफिकेशन लाइक द लेवल ऑफ डिफिकल्टी एंड ऑल सॉर्ट ऑफ क्वेरीज दैट यू हैव इन योर माइंड विल बी कवरिंग इन दिस वीडियो सो मेक श्योर टू वॉच द कंप्लीट वीडियो बट बिफोर प्रोसीडिंग फर्दर इन द वीडियो इफ यू आर न्यू टू दिस चैनल और इफ यू हैव सब्सक्राइब आर चैनल टेल लाउ देन गाइज प्लीज मेक श्योर टू सब्सक्राइब आर चैनल the channel will be really helpful for you and also it will motivate us to make more such content for you so let's start it okay first of all uh, what you have in this infosys in this infutq is all about it is about a certification that you have to do now for this there is a certain criteria has been set up the marks has been set up that you have to score to get this particular certification now what is the advantage of getting this certification you will be getting the opportunity to get interviewed by the infosys now by this infitq uh, the package that you that you can have in your hand is ranging from 3.6 up to 8 lp it depends on the profile that you are getting the so three profiles are there system engineer first one is that and then there is you know like power programmer one although they have changed the name now and another one is dsc right so that's what the things are so first of all let's talk about the infitq certification program so basically in this program you will be analyzed you will be analyzed on the basis of your readiness or on the basis of your preparation regarding programming as well as database right so both programming and database are important for this particular exam you should be good at programming part as well and database part as well now for programming they have set a particular restriction that is java and python only so either you should be the one who is good at java then you can go with the java thing otherwise you have to go with the python if you are good at python right because what i what we have analyzed what i have analyzed a previous year questions paper and all so yeah the questions are pretty much good and it's not like you will be you will be judged on your practical knowledge like it's it's like you will be judged on your practical knowledge theoretical concepts as well for same case apply for the database as well it's not like uh, theoretical questions are there there will be sql queries right so sql queries based on joins insert where clause and all these things so it's not like just by getting prepared from the theoretical part you will be able to clear it no so practical implementation practical knowledge is very very important it's important that you have done the queries from the sql part then only things can be little bit sorted for you okay so let's understand first of all the section so there will be hands on programming java in python so yes there is a language restriction either you can go with java for programming part or with python now number of questions will be two again let's come on the programming part so what will be the level of difficulty let me write okay so two questions will be there the level of difficulty i won't say very much difficult easy to medium we can range right so the questions is not like you have to come up with a very optimized approach and all so that's not going to be the case when you are going through this first round let us certification round right certification round okay so in case you are doing good in the certification part then you will be getting an opportunity for the advantage round as well from advantage round you can get the opportunity for tst and the power programmer one that i that i mentioned right so for this the packages will be good and obviously in this advantage round you will be getting the coding questions only for which the level will be sort of good and optimization and all things will be implemented for this particular round but as of now we are much focusing on certification round one so in the certification round that what i have in life like going through the papers and all so the questions are like easy to medium and it's like you can come up with any brute force approach or so and you will be able to pass the test cases so that's what the things are and even in python so those who are going with the python so i can say like yeah this is a sort of advantage because you know like python is a very easy first of all when it comes to syntax part and so many built in functions are there so that's going to be sort of handy for you those who are going with python for java as well it's good if you are having a good knowledge or understanding because the questions are not going to be very very difficult okay then programming objective questions will be there 10 questions on java as well as on python so those who are going with the java for them the question will be from java and those who are going with the python for them the questions will be python uh, so now from this particular what sort of objective questions from these two languages you can expect uh, most probably on the inheritance part 
आउटपुट बेस्ड क्वेश्चन जनरली वॉट आई सीन इज देर विल बी आउटपुट बेस्ड क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट एनी सिंटेक्टिकल एरर Uh, error based i can write error based question is there or it's like output based question based on oops questions will be there it's like uh, like two classes are there what should be the output and all like so many you can just uh, what i would recommend is just go through the previous year questions paper it will really help you because the level is not that easy i won't say that the level is easy the level is not that easy so if you are having a sort of understanding before even that okay this is uh what the questions are the sort of questions are so this is how accordingly i have to prepare so because what i understand in this particular paper the practical knowledge is very very important right and the, your basic concept should be clear if it is about the objective part as well so your basic concept should be clear for dbms as well your basic concept should be clear you have done some hands on query, queries part then only you will be able to clear it right for dbms objective also you will be having 10 questions although this time we have sort of change the pattern let's see the questions can be easy even but again that's not sure so go through the previous year question paper even on the infuq platform they do have launched their sample paper even so those who are preparing those who are about to give their exam in upcoming days so i would highly highly recommend it's it's a like recommendation from my side that please go through the uh, like sample paper that they have provided most probably your actual paper will be sort of like this only right it will be like this only the difficulty level you can expect the same that you are getting in the sample paper that's why they have made the sample paper for you so that uh, it's like you can get a sort of understanding regarding your paper beforehand so go through the sample paper understand that how much questions you are able to solve where you are lagging on what concept you are lagging if you are not able to solve any question related to joins in dbms then you can understand that your concept of join is not here if you are like in some another concept in maybe java or python uh, objective questions then this is how you will be analyzing yourself ki kahan pe mujhe zyada mehnat karne ki zarurat hai so that is very very important it's not just for infinity q what i would say ki aap jis bhi company ka exam de rahe ho first of all go through the previous year questions paper once you think that you are prepared it's not like ki just seedha aap question paper pe aa jao first of all do the preparation once you think like that okay yes i am ready now i can give the exam now So first, analyze yourself. So how you gonna analyze yourself? Uh, just take the previous year questions paper and start solving them. But but as if they have provided sample paper, so it's it's very very important for you to solve the sample paper because in the sample paper there will be a time restriction. It's like जब हम question solve करते हैं, when there is no time foundation, then we are able to solve it. But during the actual exam, during the competition time, there will be a time restriction. So analyze yourself whether in this given time are you able to come up with a solution are you able to solve it uh, is time is not causing a problem for you so that's why give the certification give the sample uh, test that they have provided in the infitq platform so that you can realize the difficulty level and realize how good you are uh, how good you are able to do when there is a time constraint there for the questions right so that's very important next thing that you will be having in your mind is regarding negative marking so yes there is no negative marking so you don't have to worry about it koi negative marking nahi yahan pe so this is what you have to understand right so yeah that's all from my side again what i would say is focus more on the practical part for dbms what you can go with first of all i would suggest ki aap hacker rank se jo wahan pe sql ke like uh, you will get dbms ke aapko queries wagaira mil jayenge and they are from easy to difficult level tak hai wahan pe to agar aap easy to medium bhi kar pa rahe ho then you are good to go then you are good to go so i would suggest ki aap hacker rank se practice karna start kar sakte ho abhi bhi time hai like to so aap concept uthao dheere dheere right ki kaun kaun se matlab agar jaise ki aapko abhi tak sirf theoretical knowledge hai what i understand from the college perspective is most of us are just aware of the theoretical part ki theek hai acha ye hota hai and these are the clauses that we do have this ka ye work hota hai uska ye work hota hai this is all we understand but as of now this theoretical thing won't be asked here pure practical thing pure queries will be there so what i can do tell you what i can refer is that just go with the hackering thing ठीक है तो हैकर रैंक से प्रैक्टिस करना स्टार्ट कर दो ओके ठीक है क्वेश्चन देख लेते हैं छोटा सा ओके तो अभी हमारा क्वेश्चन है ओके सो आंसर आई ऑलरेडी मार्क ठीक है तो पता लग जाएगा ओके ठीक है सो व्हाट इज द क्वेश्चन दैट व्हाट विल बी द आउटपुट ऑफ द फॉलोइंग पाइथन 
कोड ठीक है ये तो हमारा छोटा सा एक पाइथन कोड है इट्स नॉट लाइक ये बहुत डिफिकल्ट आने वाला है फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इतना डरने की जरूरत नहीं है इट्स नॉट लाइक ये बहुत ही डिफिकल्ट पेपर आने वाला है जैसे कि भी आप ये क्वेश्चन देख पा रहे हो ना तो इसी करीब तरीके से कुछ क्वेश्चन हो सकता है मे बी ट्रिकी हो बट इट विल बी नॉर्मल ओनली बट अगर ऐसा कुछ प्रॉब्लम आ रहा है तो मे बी लाइक हो सकता है कि यू आर नॉट अवेयर ऑफ जावा यू आर नॉट अवेयर ऑफ पाइथन इट्स लाइक यू आर सी प्लस प्लस गाय यू आर सी पर्सन देन sort of issue can be there right because i totally understand ki language restriction is obviously aap java python ke alawa aur koi language nahi ja sakte and mainly students do follow c++ so ha wahan pe thoda sa problem to phas sakta hai otherwise the questions are not that difficult okay so yahan pe aap dekh lo matlab simple sa cheez ho raha hai that what we are doing is b class ka humne ek object banaya right abhi hum display function call kar rahe hain theek hai to ye jo hai a ये इस तरीके से हम इनहेरिटेंस करते हैं पाइथन ठीक है तो ए क्लास को इनहेरिट कर रहा है बी अभी हमने कॉल किया ओबीजे डॉट डिस्प्लेस फंक्शन को कॉल कर दो तो रूल क्या होता है कि जैसे कि आपने चाइल्ड क्लास का बनाया है ऑब्जेक्ट ठीक है तो सबसे पहले चेक करा जाता है चेक वी डू चेक दैट डिस्प्ले फंक्शन इज शुड शुड बी प्रेजेंट इन आर चाइल्ड क्लास बट एज ऑफ ना वॉट यू कैन सी डिस्प्ले फंक्शन इज नॉट देर इन आर चाइल्ड क्लास इट शुड थ्रो एन एर नो देन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज दैट The same function will be checked in your parent class. So, what is the parent class of class B? Class A. So, class A is the parent class of class B. So, we'll be checking there. So, is there any function display in class A? Yes, there is. So, A display. That will be the output. Even I have marked the same. So, A display will be displayed, right? Even if in the parent class this function display is not there, then error will be thrown. He, this function, that function is not present, or like error will be thrown accordingly. so this is how the flow goes first of all child class then parent class agar if we have something like this there is a parent of class a even so we'll check there as well right like, so this is how the things went so it this is the same thing that i was saying that uh, proper basic understanding you should have you should have done proper hands on and for coding for coding part i would recommend is just go through the previous year questions paper that they do have asked so you will be getting this sort of questions itself right so do prepare them do practice them and realize whether you are able to solve them or not in which particular topic you are not able to come up with a like a um, solution also so work on that part because abhi time hai you will be able to cover right so yeah that's all from my side thank you so much for watching this video guys and yeah all the best for your exam bye bye